Hey guys, Kurt the Car Guy back at you. I just got one more quick cool thing to show you. And it's this freaking truck right here. This thing is rad. Look at this thing. I mean, it may not look so impressive from the front. And check that out. That's pretty cool. Old school brass radiator. I mean, this thing is cool. This thing is set up to be a pulling rig. This was somebody's show truck. Check out the freaking vent access right there. Bam. But then here's the part that I thought was cool. Look at that. Old Cummins sitting under there. Let's see if we can see the injection pump on the other side. It's kind of buried by some tin. But there's the injection pump right there. Little four cylinder Cummins. Just a little baby. This thing would probably run, I bet. There's your, I think that's your uh, fuel filter right down there. And you see the steering box linkage down there. Look how low that freaking pan is, man. Or actually, yeah, that's the oil pan. Holy cow. Wouldn't want to be, be driving that over any speed bumps. And you got these little guys sitting over here too. These things are kind of cool. Little shoe cars. Roscoe the Clown. What the heck are these? Oh, these are Crosleys. 27,233 miles on this one. She got a three speed in her? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I can't really get you into the shot there. She's got a three speed in her, it feels like. Got another Crosley over here. How's this one got on it? This one's only got 17,001. Oh, this one was sold right down by me. Eggman Motor and Equipment Sales, 2959 West Beltline, Madison, Wisconsin. Dang, son. Check this out. A little box there. Well, that's for your heater right there. For, for your ventilation, I don't, being this is a convertible, I don't think you'd be seeing much heat. Especially driving this thing in Wisconsin in the winter, it doesn't sound like a lot of fun. But that thing, that is cool. And by the way, check out that old plate too. Titled and set, or put on in 70, and the last time it was registered was 78. So this thing's been sitting for roughly 33 years, something like that. That's if it was parked here when this is the last time it ran. But either way, I just thought that was really mint. So if you guys think that's mint too and you guys are Cummins fans, let me know. I know if I ever put diesel in a vehicle or if I bought a vehicle with diesel in it, it'd have to be a Cummins. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that one. I thought that was pretty cool. You guys have a good one, all right? Let me know if you want to see anything else on here.